have already shuffled. And we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Taurus, the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got the Seven of Swords and it's with the Six of Cups. Now, Seven of Swords can be about some type of sneaky, manipulative um, type of person or behavior. Um, it can be stalking. If you feel someone is spying on you, then you could be right. Or if you feel tempted to dig through someone else's life, unless it's that of your minor child who has given you cause for concern, then you just might want to resist the impulse. Because we all know everyone deserves privacy. That's a little bit about the Seven of Swords, which is the card above the word pass. Now, it's with the Six of Cups, the card that's below the word pass, which can be about nostalgia, looking back on, on things, um, maybe re reminiscing about someone that you used to know, could be a return of a long lost love. Yeah, being nostalgic. So, what I'm picking up for some of you, Taurus, is that you could have been holding someone in your heart with the Six of Cups here. Yeah, someone just stayed in your heart for, I'm getting for a long time. Someone that you felt really close to, because the Six of Cups can be about familiarity. And it looks like um, this person, you could, you could have felt like reaching out to them or trying to find out where they are or what they're up to. Um, you wanted to reconnect with this person. Yeah, some of you were really interested in reconnecting with someone that you had a lot of happy memories with. This could have been someone that you used to be with. Perhaps a long lost love. Now, let's move on over. Let's see what's coming up. Well, we got the will. Well, actually, the we've got the world card. No, wait a minute. We'll move, we'll move, let's move on. I'm sorry. I, I am um, losing my train of thought here. It's really late. Just bear with me. Okay, so that was the recent past energy. You being nostalgic. But coming up, we've got the Wheel of Fortune. I'm getting these two cards confused because you also have the World card here. Two circles, that's, I'm getting it mixed up, okay. So you got the Wheel of Fortune, the card that's above the word present, and, and it's with the High Priestess, the card that's below the word present. So this Wheel of Fortune can be about feeling lucky, uh, turning point, um, fortune being on your side. Good luck. So, you could be feeling that um, you could be feeling really good these days with this Wheel of Fortune here. You could be thinking about reaching out to this person or you already did and it looks like they're feeling lucky that you did. They're happy to hear from you. They feel really fortunate that you reached out to them. Because you were someone that they were always attracted to. With the high priestess, you get a certain type of magnetic pull. You have this type of magnetic pull on this person. Yeah. 
a strong pull on this person. So they could have been really glad to hear from you and felt really lucky that you heard from them or really lucky that you reached out to them. So that's what's coming up. Now let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. We got this Knight of Wands and it's with the World card. Well, the Knight of Wands, the card above the word challenge, that can be an in and out type of energy. So you could be finding out that this person is a type that just doesn't really stick around. Yeah, you might hear from them one day and then it would be months or maybe weeks before you hear from them again. This person could be a player. So you could be finding out that they're just an in and out type of person. And yeah, they're glad to hear from you. They're still attracted to you. They're drawn to you. You two had a lot of happy memories together. Um, but the world card is with this Knight of Wands. So it's telling me that it could be time, or you could be thinking it's time. It's time to close this chapter with this person. Yeah, they're not really what you're looking for. They're just, they're in it. And then they're out of it. They're just not in it 100% because this person could be a player. So you're ready to complete the cycle with this person. Close out the chapter. You realize that the two of you had happy memories before, but that's, that's about it. Yeah. You realize it's not going any further. Not with not dealing with the person with this type of energy. They they just don't stick around, these Knight of Wands. So, you're closing out the chapter with this person. Now, the outcome is the Page of Wands and the Tower. Yeah, so, you could have a lot of passion for this person, for the connection. The Page of Wands can be about passion. Yeah. And you realize you were very excited, but it's, it's coming down. You got the tower card here. What I'm getting is that there's, um, a, an element of being shocked more than anything because you did, you, for some of you, you had high hopes that this return would be, um, Something that you would be happy about, but it didn't turn out that way. And you're kind of shocked because you had a lot of passion for this person at one time. They're just in and out. They're still drawn to you, though. You realize it's time to close out the cycle in the chapter with this person. And the tower is there. It's It's coming down. It's... It's falling apart anyway, so Taurus, that's the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Taurus, thanks for staying up late with me. It's after midnight here in California, so sorry if I kind of fumbled my words with this reading. Yeah, so I hope all of you are doing well, and thank you so much for watching. Stay safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this, so stay strong. I hope you come back and join me for the next Taurus reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind the roles of the people can be switched. You could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, 
The other person could be a friend. Yep, could be a family member. Or or even a, a co-worker or a situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates. So Taurus, I can never say it enough. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading and take care.